Hello guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you enjoy it enough to stay with me and maybe subscribe, but you're not here for that, you're here to see this little beauty, the Audric Strider. Not Stroller, where it says on the dial. Stroller was a name which they changed quickly. This is a prototype, but the only thing they're changing from this watch to the production model is that name. Obviously, it's an error because a stroller is what you push a baby in. Strider, though, sounds like someone who has a powerful walk and does powerful things in nature and stuff. But this is a watch. Is it a go anywhere, do anything watch? I think it is, but there's more to it than that. There's a lot of cool stuff about this watch, which I'll share with you in this review. So the next bit is the stats and specs. Then we get down to the nitty and the gritty. See you then. So what we have here is, so you know, the carbon black and the other options that will be available through Kickstarter uh, will be forest green, alpine white, granite gray, ocean blue, and believe it or not, double cream. How cool is that? Double cream. Launch prices I've been told. Obviously there's things like super early bird and things like that. That's when you basically, one of the very early people to invest in this watch to get it going. And that is going to be starting at 549 US dollars plus shipping. And it's going to max out at 849 US dollars. That is the maximum RRP plus shipping. So that is still the benchmark for you to be thinking about. If you're looking at a watch that's less than a thousand dollars, Swiss made, the bloodline is from Singapore. What I think is a fabulous hotbed for micro brands in the watch world right now. I mean, if I haven't mentioned it already, it, there's RZD watches, Phoebus, Boulder. We've got obviously Audric. There's so many more. There is a real exciting amount of stuff coming out of that part of the world right now. And this is another example. The devil isn't the detail in this watch. It really is. When you've had handled this piece, obviously like I, I am right now and I have for some time, you get to appreciate all the little details. First of all, the angularity of it, all these gorgeous links you get on the bracelet, which is so well made and executed is stunning. The transitioning between the brushed and polished elements, especially here on the bracelet is faultless. I can't find any scruffy bits. It is so neat and the brushing is impeccable. The thing that is extra clever about this finishing as well is the fact it's got a proprietary anti-scratch coating put on everything called Hexadori. And I'm gonna show you how scratch resistant it is. I've got a screwdriver here. I'm gonna get this screwdriver, which is definitely sharp and I'm gonna start rubbing, rubbing away and not a mark on it. That is another really cool piece of tech that you get for these watches. You go, well, I'm spending all this money on a Swiss made beautiful watch. It's an adventure watch, I wanna wear it. I'm gonna keep it looking nice though, cause this is a go anywhere, do anything kind of watch. You don't want it to start getting too, too battered up and scratched up because it would start maybe not looking so good if you decided to wear it in the office for the day. There's people who think you've thrown it on the back of your car and driven it down the road. Um, you don't want it to look scruffy, do you? You wanna look after your watch, but then you don't wanna baby it. So that's where these amazing proprietary scratch coatings come in. And then add in the sapphire crystal with AR coating. You've got scratch resistance with the sapphire. And as you've seen on the entire watch, you've got anti-scratch coating. It's amazing. You wouldn't normally do that with a screwdriver on a bit of metal. Now, this is a expensive Swiss watch and I'm rubbing it with a screwdriver. Not a mark on it. Fantastic. And that is something I really like. That is another niche thing. And the other niche thing is, apparently there is going to be a, a bit of an upgrade to the loom on these. And I can't believe that's possible. Honestly, the loom on this, I did my usual 15 to 20 minutes time lapse and I'll speed it up so you're not bored to tears, but this is Swiss grade loom and it holds out really well. Only fades ever so slightly on the 12, six and nine markers here, but every, it really pops. It is outstanding loom and that is another positive. And that's what you're gonna be getting with a Swiss made watch is all these Swiss grade bits of tech. Another Swiss grade bit of tech is the movement. It's gonna be ETA movement or a Salita SW200. It's gonna be regulated. This is a lovely example. So you've got blue screws. My phone just fell away, oh dear. Uh, and um, yeah, you've got a regulated movement and it's gonna be keeping really good reliable time and 
I personally don't like the 42 mil case size. I think from my suggestions to the owner of the company, I'd said, if you're going to do a future version, it'd be good to offer as well as this size, a 39. Because I think 39 mil case size is just a bit more versatile. And I think it helped really get the proportions of this watch in the sweet spot. Talking about proportions, I've also thought of suggesting uh, this date wheel, maybe to be black as well. I've just thought of that. But for it to be just above the six o'clock and then have a Arabic at the uh, three o'clock, as a number three so you've got your 12 three six and nine arabics and then you still have a date wheel but just have it tucked up there a bit that good i think it helped with the symmetry a bit but otherwise it's still a very neat symmetrical watch another thing while we're talking about symmetry is all the angular designs elements which are cool as well obviously but i really like this gorgeous textured dial with these tiny little pyramids on there it's just so clever the way it looks and plays with the light and i think it's going to be even more obvious with different colorways the black is really obviously really nice and just takes different light hitting it to really show that depth of texture but different colorways are really going to help show off that amazing dial i think this is definitely a go anywhere do anything watch because you have 200 meters of water resist with a very nice screw down crown beautiful action lovely pop as you undo it very little wobble or anything on there everything feels really well made easy to do and the screw in function is perfect it bites immediately you wouldn't believe how many watches don't actually have that ability to just screw in really neatly and easily and that is just a nice little feature crown is loomed as well really clever it doesn't glow as well as the rest of the loomed aspects of the watch but it's still a nice little detail it's a bit of a trend at the moment but i i don't actually see the functionality of it i think it's just a little quirk but it's just nice to have these little bits of detail another nice detail is these little parts of the lug the way it just juts down like that that is really good for wearability the way it just immediately conforms around your wrist it's fantastic i've got a seven and a quarter inch wrist and this watch wears beautifully. 42 mil is a relatively big size, but it wears way smaller than that because first of all, the height is very slim. And then the length, the lug to lug is amazing because it has these female end links and it conforms immediately around the wrist. And these lugs that tuck down immediately as well really help. Lovely milled clasp, three micro adjusts on here. I've suggested maybe for a future one, having one more, just have the extra level of adjustability. But the functionality of this clasp is perfect as well no play clicks in beautifully functions perfectly and the same with the screw links which is another beautiful bit of engineering it's just so neatly done another really easy thing to do when you want to size the bracelet up and it's not going to be a fiddly or awkward thing to do like push pins can be or screws from both sides everything's been thought through really neatly to be practical and useful with this piece i just must remind you of this finishing i really think Look at the front of that. It looks like the uh, mouthpiece of Optimus Prime. It just looks amazing. I love to see that. That two contrasting slabs on the side of the watch that complement this angled parts of this bezel, which is a fixed bezel, of course. But I just think that is gorgeous, the way that they work together in harmony. And then that ultra smooth, perfect brushing. You can see how well it plays with the light. This is incredibly good finishing. And it's finishing that you can enjoy for longer. Now you've got a, the uh, proprietary hexadory coating on there. I mean, just look how well this plays with the light. That satin sheen is gorgeous. And then stop it looking too tallish. You've got lovely polished elements to help break it up a bit. Like you see these little bits on the edges here of the lugs and then around this part of the bezel, the most exposed part of the bezel at the very top part is beautiful circular brushing. And then to break it up and not make it look too slab sided, you've got this polished element of the bezel here contrasting again against these brushed sides really nice maybe we would have liked a brushed underside only because that's a scratch magnet but i'm just being a bit picky so overall it's actually quite hard to make a huge amount of criticisms about this watch i mean obviously the name that is the main criticism is changing just totally disregard the name stroller it's not going to be called that that's the first thing audric is a lovely name it's to do with uh, the owner of the company is it's linked with his family and that is a beautiful thing to celebrate something he can pass on down to his future generations and this is something that is very versatile for many people that love a tool watch this is a fabulous tool watch there's not much that you could do with this watch because it's got that water resistance fabulous loom you've got a date complication a reliable swiss movement and it's going to stay looking good for longer because of that scratch proofing it's a great all-rounder and i'm impressed with their other offering they've done this i think it's called the seaborn amazing looking watch again vibrant colors beautiful build quality scratch proofing all that stuff and people have been loving that and i think the success of the previous watch that they've made is why they are investing and in getting support to get this new model on the market so definitely keep an eye out for the kickstarter and see if you can get this uh, at an amazing price and if not you're still going to be supporting getting an amazing watch into the market so good job to audric this is definitely a watch for me it's a slow grower one of those watches that you appreciate more and more you wear it and enjoy it 
and see the little details they've done so well. And I think that's where this watch fits in. And it's where I think it'd be one of your everyday wear pieces. That's my opinion. But what do you think? That's the next question. Comments below, of course. That's where I like to read. And obviously the owner of the company loves to read your comments as well for all these kind of videos. And give us your feedback. I've given you my ideas, but that's, that's just me. What do you guys think? Same with this video. If you've enjoyed it, thumbs up. But if not, I'm sorry I, I haven't entertained you enough, but I'll try my best. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next one. Been a pleasure. Bye for now.